はい。Hello. おはようございますだ。こんにちは。はい。<笑> In the Ten Commandments series,、うん、we have learned from Exodus chapter 19 and 20. Do you remember them? Let's do the actions together, huh? Commandment number one: You shall have no other gods before me. Commandment number two: You shall not make for yourself an idol. Commandment number three: You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Commandment number four: Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Commandment number five: Honor your father and your mother. Commandment number six: You shall not commit murder. Commandment number seven: You shall not commit adultery. Commandment number eight: You should not steal. Commandment number nine: You shall not lie. Commandment number ten: You shall not cover. Hmm. Now God didn't give us His commandments to make us miserable or、mm. to control us, but because He loves us、oh. and He wants to keep us safe. So、Aye. not only do these rules keep us safe. But they also help us have good relationships with God and His people.、Hey. So let's move on to learn Commandments nine and ten today.、Ah. The ninth commandment tells us that we do not lie. To be hundred percent honest, I have a tree and I have a problem. This tree that I have produces bad fruits. So smart children, tell me how can I stop this tree from producing bad fruits? Ah, I know. I can pluck out all these fruits and throw them away. Maybe the next batch of fruits will be good. Does that work? No. What about plucking out all the leaves? Then I chop off the branches. Maybe it will stop producing bad fruits. Does it work as well? So how should we stop this tree from producing bad fruits? Yes, we must uproot it. I put it so that it will not produce any more bad fruits. Similarly, a person who lies is just like the tree that produces bad fruits. And the only way to stop the person from lying is not by threatening him or punishing to kill him, but by getting to the root of the problem. Find out why is he lying? Is he lying because he's afraid, or is it because he wants to avoid trouble? Or is he lying because he wants to get his way and to get some attention? Whatever the root of the problem is, uproot it. How many of you children have ever told a lie? A white lie, a yellow lie, a polka dotted lie is still a lie. So remember commandment number nine: You shall not lie, because Jesus hears everything we say. Let us ask God to help us to be hundred percent honest, no matter what. Amen. Commandment number ten: You shall not covet. To covet is to wish and want things that someone else has, and you feel unhappy and unfair that that person should have it. God says that we're not supposed to covet what other people have. Instead, we should be happy and thankful with all the things that we already have. Can anyone tell me what this is? Yes, it's a mouse trap. Let me show you how it works. When a mouse sees and smells the cheese in the trap, it will be tempted to go eat it. And when it gets close enough to the bait, the trap will go snap, and the poor little mouse will get caught. Let me ask you, smart children. Will the trap work if the mouse did not try to get the cheese? No. Does it hurt to get caught in a trap? Yes. Similarly, Satan wants to tempt us into wanting to get more and more and more things. So he uses baits to trap us. Baits like the latest iPhone, the latest skateboard, the latest game, the latest toy, and even money. You may want something your friends have so badly that it makes you steal or lie to get it. In the end, you will be the one who gets hurt. So let's be careful not to walk into the trap. I know there is always a new gadget, a new game, a new toy. There's always something that we want to get. But it is important to remember that these things aren't really important. God is the most important. Do not covet. 
let's be content with what we have and say no to temptation. Always remember the good things that God has already provided for us and let us always give thanks. Boys and girls, commandment number nine, you shall not lie. Children, do not tell lies of any colours. No black lie, no white lie, no polka dotted lie. Be 100% honest. Commandment number 10, you shall not covet. Do not want what belongs to other people. Do not be envious or jealous over what they have. But be thankful and happy over what God has given to you. Children, when I was a young Christian and I heard about the Ten Commandments, I told myself, because I love Jesus, I will do my very best to obey every one of His commandments. And that's what the Ten Commandments are all about. Commandment number one to number four is about us loving God, having a wonderful relationship with Him. Commandments number five to number ten it's about us learning to love people around us and having a wonderful relationship with others. Boys and girls, this is summed up in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 39. Jesus tells us, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the next six commandments are summed up in this, Love others as much as you love yourself. How many of you want to try your very best to obey God's commandments? Let's close our eyes and bow our heads as we say this prayer. Dear God, thank you for the Ten Commandments. I will do my very best to obey every one of them. Like what I have learned today, I will not lie. I will be 100% honest. I will not covet. I will be thankful and happy with what I have. Help me always to keep your commandments in my heart and in my mind. I will observe them and obey them because I love you. In Jesus' name I pray and all God's wonderful children say, Amen. Children, great job for staying with us and learning all about the Ten Commandments. So let's do our very best to love Jesus, to love the people around us. Thank you children and parents for watching Harvest Kids Online. Yes, thank you so much. And we just want to announce to you that during the holidays, we will be having some holiday programs. So do find out from your teachers what they are. You can also check it out in our Instagram and Facebook. The programs will include things like art by teacher Anson. It will include things like Bible study, encounters with the Lord, and also a magic class. So be sure to check it out. Yes, and of course, remember to follow, like, share, and subscribe to Harvest Kids YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook. Yeah. So that's all that we have for you today. See you again next week, same time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.